Hey everyone, um, oh, look at me sitting in this beautiful gorgeous winter sun in my garden. So welcome to our garden. Um, I have the spinach patch behind me as well as some bok choy and my house is that way in case you're wondering. For those of you that know me, house is that way. Um, yeah, you can see all my husband's signs that he's collected. It's his little collection. But I just thought outside because it's so nice and warm and I'm just enjoying all the providence that the Lord is providing today. So we're going to talk a lot about this week around suckering and uplifting each other. So this is sections 81 to 83. And uh, we're going to start in section 81. <sighs> Love our come follow me, don't we? So section 81 was originally given to a guy called Jesse Cause or Corsé. Um, and this is the beginnings of the first presidency, uh, as we know it now. Uh, this was the causing, calling of the councillors. Now the Jesse took the calling and only lasted maybe a couple of months and totally went inactive, just lost the plot completely. And we really don't hear a lot of, well, we actually don't hear anything about what happened to him, where he went, why he went inactive, it just fell apart. So, um, Frederick G. Williams is called in his place and when this is printed, the name is Frederick G. Williams. Now this, you think, but the original revelation was given to Jesse and it's like, well, yes. But as we constantly say, and this is the perfect example of it, that these sections and these revelations are to all of us. And there's something that we can get from every single one of them that applies to us. Us now, us in the future, us before. There's, there's always a, something in there that's the purpose we have it. Um, I know you, we look to a lot of the stories in the Book of Mormon and we gain, garner things from there for us. And yet... They're about people that lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So, keep that in mind, that although you might think nothing in the Doctrine and Covenants is actually applicable to me, actually a lot of it is. Um, and we can learn from that. So we're going to go to verse 5 of section 81, which reads, Wherefore be faithful, stand in the office which I have appointed unto you, succor the weak, lift up the hands which hang down, and strengthen the feeble knees. Now this is beautiful because this is what it's all about. Um, and what we as trying to be as Christ-like as we can and the things that we desire here on earth, it's really about helping others um, as best I can explain it. But the question I sort of thought around this is, you know, we hear this a lot and it comes up a lot. So why is it so important? And as I talk to you, my camera's getting further and further down. The whole thing is just like, oh, let, me, let me adjust here. Sorry, guys, it's a bit wonky. There we go, is that better? That's better. Hello, here I am. Um, so the sun's right on there, so I couldn't see. I could just see the thing coming down. But yeah, so the question comes up a lot. Why do we suck or what is so important about this? Because we get this a lot. Um, you know, help others, strengthen others, go do ministering, all these things. Why is it so important? Really, what is the importance? Um, first of all, to succor is assistance and support in times of hardship and distress and to give assistance... Um, or aid to. So that's it's ministering. Um, an everyday type there yeah, and strength now is why is it so important? Now it's like, well, how many people do you know that are constantly doing this? And in the best way, because we need to look after ourselves before we can go look after others, right? I'm a big believer in that and that often gets overlooked a lot too or said kind of flippantly and it's, yeah, we need to regenerate ourselves like why I'm sitting in the sun. I'm regenerating myself so that then I can serve and we're going to get onto that around where much is required because that's in this um, week's reading as well. That's inside number two. Right now we're on number one. So um, why is it so important? Our people that I know some people and I, I have found this too in my life I gotta say I know people but I've seen it in my life I haven't had true joy and happiness when I haven't been conscientiously is probably the best word to put it serving others and suckering others and doing the ministering properly instead of just phoning it in turning up you know doing that whole flyby on a Sunday afternoon um you know sort of thing like are you good yes yeah, sweet okay um so that's where the true joy is and I get a lot of joy from serving others and to actually uplift others that's where it comes from and it's part of transforming and growing us it's learning how to be us I think better um, I think if you just do it you'll understand 
and it's it's kind of one of those things that you really get a testimony of once you actually go and do that really does help but I've got down here that true lasting peace joy and happiness is found in serving and loving others and I know that's true uh, as we succor and strengthen others on our journey to Christ we find such a close relationship with him that's the other point too that because it's a Christ-like way to be is to go and meet the one go and serve the one and if we can do that if we can honestly just do that with such devotion and love and care to lift and love um, the relationship we get with Christ is amazing it is so beautiful and for those of you that are there and have had that experience you know what I'm talking about and if you haven't keep at it because it's just oh my gosh you'll get there um, but you find such a close relationship with him and helping others is good for the soul so even if you took religion out of it and didn't have it there the importance of helping others and being kind to others is just it's soul lifting for you um, it is the best way to just feel better about everything that's happening in your life. You just, you know, when things are terrible, go serve someone else. It just puts things into perspective. You get answers while you're serving. You get blessings come to you. The people that you need to help you are suddenly there. It just happens. The answers are there. Um, the number of times is a good example of just going through. It's just one example here that I can think of in my life is that you know, years ago I desperately needed food and I'm talking like when I'm in my early 20s and I couldn't find a job and I couldn't go and live at home, that wasn't an option for me and I didn't have a lot of food and I would go without a lot of times, live off popcorn and dollar bread and it's not cool and it's had lasting effects on me. However, because I wasn't working, whatever, and it was walk, I was walking distance to a chapel, so whatever funeral or event was on and you know like I go and help in the kitchen not only would I get lunch for that event or dinner for that event often there's food left over afterwards and we all know in New Zealand you divvy that up and send it home or give it to those who need it and I was one who needed it so often I could get um, you know be interesting food I'd like to take the fruit I like the fruit things that I couldn't get at home um, and have that so that's just one example but that's you know, and that's taking religion out of it. Just go and help. The blessings are there. Anyway, President Iring said, by helping others come unto him, you will find that you have come unto him yourself. And that's really what it's about. You want to come unto Christ? Go help others because you find you come unto yourself. You find who you are. You find you and you get more centered and more straight on who you are. And it's just, it's awesome. So there you go. That's why it's important. Right, hang with us. We'll be back soon for insight number two.